everyone today's video we go back into the shade house and if you remember last time we looked at how many bromeliad we had just in this little section we worked out that there was um, approximately a hundred bromeliad in that section and we've got this last section here to go at the front of the shade house um, and the reason we're doing this just to say you can fit a lot of bromeliad in a small amount of space if you only have a small garden or a small area bromeliad do so well uh, there's all sorts of um, Chalancia, these little ones. I've got a couple of new ones, a beautiful new one here. And they're really good if you only have a small space. You can hang them up and, um, you know, find a position for them. But yeah, bromeliads do really, really well and you'd be surprised is what I'm saying, how many that you can fit in. I am very surprised myself to know that there's um, 100 bromeliad just in the front section of the shade house. So if you only have a small garden, bromeliads are beautiful, considered tillandsias, things like that, just beautiful. And can we just admire the expertise of the person of this plant, the tiny little writing in pencil on the miniature name tag? That is very impressive. I've got a lot to go. So using pencil again, great idea. Um, Texty, you just can't quite get that small. But yeah, I'm very impressed by the expertise in the, the little miniature writing. I think that's fabulous. I've just attended a my first Tillandsia talk, and the first thing I found out is they don't like metal. So you'll see all these are uh, mounted on wood. They've all got little pieces of wood on them. That one's got a bit of driftwood and I've got a ball over there and I'm trying to grow a little ball out hanging there. Not sure it likes that position too much. And then the second thing I found out is not only do they like to grow on wooden things but they also grow in pots. So once they get a lot of roots or get overgrown onto their wood you can easily pot them up. I've got a couple here to show you. A couple of beautiful Tillandsia in pots. And also this beautiful one from Rebecca Olive at the Olive Branch. That's a beautiful creation. And it hasn't flowered yet, so it's going to be absolutely gorgeous when it flowers. So pots as well as on wood and not particularly metal. Try and avoid the metal is what they said. So that's all good to know. So that's another good reason I love bromeliad so much because you can fit so many of them in a small area. And there's so many different types. You've got your near Synchrogelia, um, Cryptanthus, as well as your Tillandsia. So you can also mount them straight onto your trees and things in the garden, which I've done, and I've also mounted them onto different logs, features and things around the garden as well. If you haven't considered air plants before in your garden definitely consider them give them a go why not I think they're fabulous and like I said in my last bromeliad video they're perfect if you want to go away on a holiday you know they're not fussy they're they'll take a little bit of neglect perfect for youtubers or anyone else that's busy just too busy or if you only have a small garden or courtyard or something like that. Bromeliad are really fun and easy to grow. So that's all today. And that's an update of what's happening in my shade house. And also what's new. And you're welcome to let me know some of your new Brom purchases this year below in the comment section. And if you would like to know more about Bromeliad, I'm going to do a bit video about that coming up very soon. About where to find out about Bromeliad, how to find out, where to find them, all those sort of good things. Oh, and I thought I'd give you a glimpse of a beautiful new Jalarian with my uh, blue litmus. Isn't that beautiful? Tiny little bit of leaf damage, which is such a shame, but uh, beautiful blue litmus.